Hi, it's Chef Jan Marie coming at you on a Friday evening, and I have been craving a good homemade pound cake. So I thought to myself, hmm, I have some ingredients in the in the cabinet there, and I'm going to throw together a sakatumi cake. So those of you who have lived in the South or have family in the South, you already know what this is all about, and it is good. Okay, let's start off with the ingredients. First of all, you have cake flour, not regular flour. This is cake flour. There is a difference, okay, it's sifted finely. So that's a cake flour. Normally I would do another brand, but they didn't have that. So I ended up with this, which is uh, just as good. I also have six eggs that I'll be putting into the batter as well at room temperature. Of course, I have my milk, one cup of milk that I'll be putting in at room temperature. And uh, this little cup, I have um, half of one fourth cup of sour cream, which is gonna go in the mixture as well. Sour cream, just regular sour cream at room temperature. In addition to that, I have uh, the thing that is gonna send it to the moon. Four sticks, which actually equals one pound of butter. So four sticks of unsalted butter are actually going into the mix as well. Um, and I have the uh, cinnamon streusel. This is what's gonna go in half of the cake. I'm gonna pour the batter in and then sprinkle this around. These are chopped up nuts. It has uh, brown sugar in there. It also has cinnamon sugar, um, nutmeg, and other spices that go inside of here. So we're gonna pour half the batter in the pan and then pour this stuff on top of it and then put the rest of the batter in. When it bakes up, you can see it when you cut it up in the middle and it's absolutely delicious. In this uh, cup here, or bowl rather, we have our two and a half cups of sugar. That'll be going into our mix as well. We also have our vanilla. Doesn't matter which brand you use. I actually got this from Mexico when I went on a cruise and it is really good. Very uh, strong and potent. So I use that in there as well. And um, my powdered sugar I'm going to use on the finish of the cake. When I finish, the, when the cake is finished, cooled down and everything, I'm gonna put a light glaze on it, just regular powdered sugar. And then I'll be incorporating some lemon juice to kind of make it, uh, thin it out just a little bit and then pour it all across the cake, okay? And I think that is about it as far as all the ingredients are concerned. Again, going over everything, it's all right here for you to see and I will have it in the description box just on, on YouTube just in case you missed everything. But everything you see here on the table is what I have. So I'll be putting it together, guys. I just wanted to go over quickly what the ingredient list is going to include. So um, from this point, we'll sign off and then I'll come back on when the cake comes out of the oven and we're gonna finish it up and then cut it open and you'll see exactly what I mean with that streusel being in the middle. And it is absolutely delicious. So I know you guys can't wait to the finish and I can't wait till it gets done myself. So signing off for now and I'll be back as soon as possible to show you the reveal. Talk to you later. Bye.